was actually uh, playing this to see if uh, if my uh, headphones were working, and I couldn't hear the commentary track. And I was like, why can't I? How are they? Oh, wait, we haven't commented on this one yet. <laughs> we're a long place as the least successful offshoot of World of Warcraft there. <laughs> In. Lunch with Emily. Didn't we already do this? Or is this again? I know we talked about it, but I don't know if we actually did it or not. She has a big jar of candy on her desk. In place of her monitor, apparently, it looks like. <laughs> Man, I want a big jar of candy. All right. I thought about ordering in, but since we had leftovers, I made us lunch. What the hell music is that? <laughs> it's it's very action-oriented music for eating yeah. lunch. Today. Oh, okay, great. What should I do, Zach? Sexually I assault her. Oh, I'm sorry. Like Thomas, but I do practice every no, day. That's the player just, who put her in that outfit. That's just life under Trump, sorry. <laughs> well, With any luck, that won't be topical anymore by the time this airs. <laughs> Come on, tell it to but me. But I doubt it. Emily. Yes. Hey! What? The painting behind her. Oh, I didn't catch it. That, that's the, uh, sure the stretch of beach where Laura Palmer was found. Uh. Okay, just stop right there. Hey. They may flash it again. No, I, we're not gonna get it. Oh, oh no, see? there it is over right there. there. Oh yeah. Huh. Um, tell it to me straight. Uh, don't don't be homophobic, Emily. <laughs> Heteronormative, at least. <laughs> that was actually. I gotta admit, that was actually one of the uh, few lunch scenes we've had where the joke made sense. I mean, it wasn't I, I was necessarily so distracted. Funny, but... I was so distracted by the painting on the wall, I didn't hear the joke. Oh, uh, basically, hey, here's Nick. Um, Let's have a fetch quest again. <laughs> you want a squirrel key or some you shit? Your man? No, no. Um, don't ask about his love man. life, dude. Yeah. Just a suspect. Um, Nick. Basically, she was like, Tell me straight, what do you think of the... Hey, tell me what you think of the meal. And he said, I, I worked a it. case once where I went into the sewer, right? And she <laughs> says, stop right there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that worked. Yeah. You're going to remain a prime suspect. What's going to happen? Like a prime rib. Never mind. Uh, maybe I'll just keep making jack-off motions with my hand until I'm out of here. Notice how we managed to have a comedic conversation I about jail without shower rape. I can't tell you anything. If that's the case, I'm, I'm sure mentioning it as not mentioning it is, is a failure, though. <laughs> Damn. Agent. There's a nice literary term for doing that, and I, I can never remember it. You don't talking about something by not talking keep, about it. Why does he keep making jack off motions? This really is, weird. Because uh, he's secretly signaling that he wants Jack to come to him. Thanks. Mm. Who's sitting next to him? No clue. I'm going to assume it's the town drunk, because that's always who's in the cell. Yeah. Otis. Otis, the town drunk. <laughs> Tell her I'm sorry, will you? Nick, you need to do that, not me. Uh, I'm in jail, jackass. Hello, Dad. I'm in jail. <laughs> Seven people listening will know what I just referenced. <laughs> I'm in jail, Dad. Rings a vague bell. Yeah, from the 80s or early 90s, a piece of music that is only listened to by the sort of people who brag that they don't listen to pop music. <laughs> of which I was one. Yeah, it, it, I, I listened to a lot of that stuff when I worked as a DJ at a radio station because generally I enjoy... I don't know if I necessarily enjoy pop music. Uh, oh, there's the train station from uh, Twin Peaks too back there. Yeah. Um, this the it's interesting. The uh, uh, police station has all these Twin Peaks uh, flavored stuff around it. Um, but yeah, while I while I worked at the radio station, just listening to kind of that typical chord progression and four four time constantly mm -hmm. just made me want to so. That's when I got really heavily into Zappa and um, Zena Crony and things like that. And radio stations are the worst because they have a relatively small playlist. 
Like oh, the, it, these are your top 40, and we will play the top 20 of them over and over. Oh, it drove me fucking crazy. It's like, I could kind of understand it on the... Because I, I did New Country and Classic Rock, and I could kind of understand oh. it on the New Country, because that, that was new, you know? It was like, we're going to play from the, whatever, it was Billboard or whatever, top 10... All of those songs get played at least once every four hours, you know? So it's like you do a six-hour shift and you're going to hear the top ten songs, most of them twice. Uh, and, and that at least I understood, you know, because it was like... Uh, it was like it, it's, it's new stuff, but the classic rock, I'm like... Jesus, like, you know, John Mellencamp had more than four songs, I'm pretty sure, you know? And, and in fact, the, the, the time frame of classic rock is just getting bigger over the yeah. years. Um, yeah, when, when I, I didn't know you DJ'd. I used to DJ too. Mm. Um, and I, when, when I was putting together a show that was planned ahead, which is kind of how you're supposed to do it, but I improvised them a lot too, um, I'd often try and sneak one in, one song in per show that no one has heard of, but they probably like because it, because it's, I don't know, palatable. You know, yeah. talking heads would go in a lot before they started getting more classic status. That sort of thing. Dive. When's the last time I made a dive like that? I'm What's listening to York now. He's talking about how uh, his dive to try to save uh, uh, not Becky, Diane was oh, worthless. You and I right. Punk rock yes, well, we like that's right. Types of punk. Uh, like he, in fact, should have been severely broken. Crash and in fact, three people should have... He, he just said crash instead Christian. of clash. Like the damn hmm. Buzzcocks, Iggy Pop, Joy Division. I didn't mind the Buzzcocks. No, I was more was into those. How, the how, do, how do you forget that, York? For some reason, neither of us listened to the Sex Pistols. I like the Sex Pistols. Wonder why that was. Like, legitimately, not some ironically, or not because <laughs> I thought I should. I, I, I just really enjoyed them. I liked I, the, I, the ideal of punk, or at least this aspect that you don't have to learn all the rules and be proper. You can just go out there with just your exuberance and the guitar. Um, I was more a Pennywise and no effects fan. Mm. That's different from each other. I don't know. They seem similar to me, but I guess because I found them at the same time, maybe. Mm. Pennywise had an uh, album that they released on cassette in a cigarette case, which I thought was funny. <laughs> Uh, okay. There's three little Roombas over there. I uh, ran across a, a video, uh, I think it was yesterday, of uh, the band Disturbed covering um, Simon and Garfunkel's Sound, Sound of, of Silence. Silence. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's pretty good. Nick asked yeah. me to give it to you. I'm not a huge Disturbed right. fan, you know, aside from yeah, the, to you. the thing Nick, everyone knows. Um, yeah. For me? Sickness. Down with the sickness. That's the one. Olivia. Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm sorry for all the trouble I'm causing you. <laughs> I'm a big fan of My Disturbed, except for that album. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, that's I love the I love the drum intro on uh, yeah, Down With The Sickness, coming. but I don't really like the My song. Really I like it mostly because it's associated with, with parts of movies that are God exciting. Mm. And I didn't kill Diane. I think if, uh, if I'd yeah, never the, encountered the it as... Sound, sound of Silence sickness. came out about a year ago on their latest all album, and, uh... Uh, there's a really don't good version of them doing it live on, I don't know, Jimmy Kimmel or some well shit like that. Conan and Brian? One maybe, of them, yeah. Maybe, yeah, yeah live, live, the, the live one is the one I saw. Been grateful to you. And I, I tend to sing along to sound, for whatever reason, that song in particular, I tend to sing along. And then when he started roughing it up, I was like, I can't follow you there. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Thank you for everything. <laughs> no, I did get the urge to mock his his um, facial jewelry. Take hmm? care of yourself. That's, that's just a little conservative bully in me that, that periodically wants to mock people for stupid things. <laughs> all right. Okay, so why was Nick all super sweet in that letter and had a lot of reverb? Like, that doesn't seem like Nick at all. Well, he feels guilty because he was um, cheating, not cheating uh, all that time. Oh, yeah, I yeah. want to write a reply. But sure. first, I need a sure. pen. Can you Thank go get you. me one from the store? Let me just read it. Got some she's grammatical gonna... errors here. And she's Judging got a painting of two pears on her wall. Sad Very um. Nick will feel better by this. Yeah, looks like she looks like she put some urine on the top left of the letter. 
<laughs> Does... I th she decorated from a hotel. I think she stole everything in there from a hotel. <laughs> Nick's letter, a trophy. Man, trophies are so... Mm, not important. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's. I think... I think you have to have a certain number of trophies, and so it's like... A lot of games seem to have like three or four trophies that are real, and then the rest of them are like, oh, you played the game, basically. Yeah, a, a trophy, I, a trophy for something you have to do to progress in the game makes no sense to me. Doing it extra well, or you know, going on right. um, unnecessary side quests, that sort of thing, that's, that's trophy worthy. Yeah. So I, I'm assuming you've heard Disturbs other like they every other album they always do a cover of something and like Land of Confusion is really a good cover that they did and uh, uh, everybody or uh, no Shout they did Shout uh, really oh yeah. no I hadn't heard that yeah that's uh I I like I like things that have have the, this genre clash. I'm, I like I, that a lot. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what was the other one that they did. It's uh, it's not everybody wants to rule the world. It's something that they did one, and I remember the uh, like the title of it is just the letters from the song, but it's a lot of letters, so it has to be a long title. But um, but yeah, they they like doing those covers and uh, kind of uh, uh, kind of mixing things up, and I've always I've always enjoyed that about them. Uh, uh, is it? I don't think it's all that remains. It's, there's some band that did a cover of uh, Rihanna's Umbrella, and it's fucking amazing. And oh. uh, they, there's that whole uh, album series called Pop Goes Punk, um, and uh, it's Jesus punk bands. Uh, they stretch the definition of punk pretty damn far. Uh, punk bands doing covers of pop songs, and uh, uh, in general, I am a big fan of. Reimagining songs, you know. Uh, yeah, um, there was a, an album called the Rocky Horror Punk Rock Show that had punk, quote unquote, punk covers of the Rocky Horror soundtrack, and there's a lot of good stuff there. But they also did not follow the definition of punk very strictly. Uh, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. That's what it was. Yep, I just found it and had opened my mouth to say it. Okay. It's a oh, wish wish wolf. <laughs> I, I had a brief From Motley Crue moment in my my growing up days, and I like that song. Uh, even though it's a U two song. What? No, I I I what? I was doing another I song. You... So much. <laughs> he what said, "I still haven't found what I'm looking for," and I said, "Yes," and also oh, shout at the missed. devil. Oh, Motley Crue. Uh, I, I missed that. Sorry. <laughs> Three lines. It's okay. Back. Not enough. I might have mumbled. Oh, no, you know, yep, we're back in jail. Not enough. Yeah. She wrote as much as she could. Why the That's urine the stain up here? here? Yeah. She's just yeah. marking your territory. I believe in you. I'll wait for you. I'm sorry. I, I don't agree with the last one, though. I'm the one who has to apologize. Do you feel a little I like that now? they have at least one character in the game that's faintly chubby and not comedically fat. This will all come yeah. to an end. Yeah. This one in the entire no, town. <laughs> She's Progress believing through. in me too, and waiting for me. Well, I have to be going. <laughs> now, hold, hold on a minute. Oh, okay, I'm not doing anything else. Wait, how? Do, why does he still have that? He should not have keys on his person. Yeah, the key to the back door of the dining Shank. Room. Especially with like the sharp little triangle fucking knife or knife there. So that's the so ways he could hurt himself or others with that. Yeah. Okay. He could. I'll take strangle a shrew. <laughs> Looks like a return. A lot of a lot of opportunities for that coming up in jail. <laughs> and you I know, remember this, this jail. I wouldn't. Janeway was a little shrewish in *Oranges of the New Black*. Wait, say that again? <laughs> Janeway, her, yeah. the actress that played her, was a little shrewish. Oh, in okay, okay. The new yeah. Nothing helps a joke like repeating it slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I always feel bad, like, asking about that because I know that when I edit these, I'm going to hear it no matter what. But then on the other hand, if I don't ask for a joke to be repeated, if I don't hear it, then five minutes later I make the same joke, so... <laughs> Well, what I need to do is have all of my DJ skills on while I'm doing essentially a DJ 
chat here so that I am more clearly understandable mm. and audible. Yeah, I, um, I, I also uh, DJed at, at um, the college radio station uh, when yeah, I was college. there, and uh, and that that was the only one where I like actually had to like prepare my stuff because the other places it was prepared for me. But um, the uh, like I just I just didn't give a shit about anything there because essentially nobody was listening, and so um, I remember I did. Uh, uh, like, I did an interview with <laughs> somebody who used to be on the college radio station who I knew. And I was like, you know, now that you're back in the studio, what's the difference between now and the old days, you know? And then we, like, went up and, and like, like, we were talking about, like, virginity loss and, like, all sorts of... <laughs> it's like, nobody's listening, you I know? I didn't lose it. I know right where I left it. <laughs> um... The uh, okay, we're going, we're going to the back door of the diner. I feel like we should find another murder here. The fence should not be close up like that. Eh. <laughs> the doll is just horrifying. Well, okay, what you are we can gonna just tell its face is rubber, like it's all wood, but it has a rubber face. Oh, oh, flare, yeah, flare, good. We need every time he gets of... flare, he should get like a little colorful pin on his lapel. Mm. But I think he has intimate. Or uh, infinite like, flares. If you could use intimate flares, flares would be a problem. Zach, this is great. We'll be able to carry more items now, Zach. He's not had a problem with inventory, but okay. Big bag. Yeah, I was gonna mm. say, like, are we? Huh. Okay. I wonder if he's got some sort of, because he's obviously got some sort of cheat for infinite flares, right? Like, I wonder mm. if he has some sort of cheat for inventory, because we sure as shit seem to have been buying a lot of stuff. Right. And he doesn't. Um... He boxes hardly anything. Oh, well. At least we got that quest done. Yeah, you came in the back door, because you unlocked it, and it was the back door key. Yeah. I mean, we should be able to un white. We should be able to unlock that from inside, but, you know, whatever. Like, why would we? Because we can't lock it back up. Video game doors are never quite realistic. Yeah. They generally open from both directions. Um... The the generally they're often locked from a weird side of the door. And you don't you don't get to unlock them by turning the thing if you're on that side of the door. Sometimes their doorknobs are horrifying. <laughs> yes. Everybody wants to Yeah, get me content algorithm. <laughs> it's less than seven seconds, I'm sure we're fine. I, I've seen it tag things that were so clearly public, not public, uh, fair use. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I we I I didn't even want to go down this rabbit hole. It pisses me off. Yeah. Um, A lot of content creators have have strong opinions on the matter. Yeah. I, I, I think what's always funny now is that they, uh, a lot of stuff they'll, uh, uh, oh wait, what player are we talking about? Uh, concert. I just passed out of my brain what band they were talking about, but it's a concert. Okay. I wish I was old enough to go to CBGB, except if I were old enough to go to CBGB, I probably would have died in a variety of things. Ah, the Ramones. Aw, I haven't thought of the Ramones in ages. I'm, I'm gonna add them to my happy list right now. Interesting. I am... I am not a fan, but... It's alright. Yeah, you would be. Gina is a punk rocker and surfing bird. And I was so depressed when I heard the news of the deaths. Original punk is one of the greatest gifts left from the 20th century. I'm really confused by this whole punk rock rabbit hole that he's gone down. Like, this does not seem to fit the character at all. Well, all right, uh, now that we're double parked over two handicapped spaces, time to go in. Uh, earlier in the uh, the Cinder Sandwich scene, uh, he told Emily that he used to be a punk rocker. Right, no, I'm saying, like, it, it just, starting there, it doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Well, I, it was kind of intended to be a shocking, out of nowhere laugh, but I don't think it really works. The, uh, the punk rock lifestyle did not really add to longevity. 
very much. Yeah. <sighs> Yo, dude. Yeah, and then people started calling themselves punk for all sorts of stupid pop shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Breathe into a bag. Like Green Day is considered the hard, hardcore that stuff. Was a busy place <laughs> back when the lumber <laughs> train was big. Oh my God. No one goes near it now, you know. It's like a, a train graveyard. Oh, he's gonna do another. Uh, on top of that, I guess. Um, spiritual map. Even ghost stories there. 